Hi guys, Jessica Ansley here from Crafting While Adulting. Um, I wanted to do um, a tut another tutorial on how I make my glitter mugs. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a one part, two part, or three part tutorial, but we'll see how it goes, see how long it is. Nobody wants to watch one hour long tutorial videos. Um, so it might have to be broken up into different weeks. But anyways, um, we're going to be working on learning how to make glitter mugs. Now I do something a little bit different. Most people tend to do like they tape their mug off with painters tape or whatever then they do Mod Podge which is a type of glue and then they roll their mug in the glitter. I do a little bit of that but not that much because I personally don't like a thick layer of glitter and I hate loose glitter. I know it's horrible. I'm a crafter that hates loose glitter, but I hate it. It's craft herpes. But anyways, um, my husband and I call it the glurpees, which is glitter herpes. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys how I do my um, glitter mugs. I have a messed up mug that I got from Dollar Tree to practice on a while back and never used. It has a crack in it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. And I already have paint on it. But at any rate, I wanted to show you how I tape up my mugs and what I do for that. So I am going to show you that now. Now, I need both hands for this, so don't laugh at me. But I use my knees as a way to hold my mug so I can use both hands. I use regular electrical tape. Um, it doesn't leave a sticky residue. And it tends to be a lot more um, malleable and you can manipulate it a lot easier. Um, and I get really, really straight lines from this. So I love electrical tape. If I need a straight line, that's what I use. So I start with my electrical tape right wherever I want my line to start for the glitter. And I usually have like an inch, inch and a half on the bottom. And what I do is I start underneath the handle and I slowly roll the tape around the mug and I just kind of eyeball it. A lot of people will measure it. I just eyeball it. And the best thing about this is I can, if I, you know, feel like Oh, maybe I didn't do that right. I can just lift up like this and it comes right off and it doesn't leave a sticky residue and I can place it where I want. That's what I was talking about when I said that um, I feel like electrical tape is a lot easier to work with when trying to make a, st a straight line. And then I eyeball it, try to line it up as good as possible. It's a little crooked there. so. I finish off with my scissors, cut my tape back where I started, there you have it, I have a nice straight line all the way around, for the most part it's straight, I'm not too worried about it because this isn't going to a customer or anything, I'm not going to sell it. Um, it'll probably just hold my pens, to be honest. But, um, it's bothering me that my camera's off center. Anyways, I, uh, I tape this up completely. So the only thing that's going to be, um, open, I guess, is the bottom and this section here. The rest, I literally tape all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And... I'll do a time lapse for you guys for that so you guys can see what I'm doing. I literally just go around the entire thing. Nothing special. Just make sure that there's no open areas. Once I get up by the handle where the handle ends. I go on the outside of the handle instead of going underneath it. 
and I'll explain why in a minute. But I just go around like normal, but I start there instead. main part done. Now I'm going to tape up my handle because I don't want my handle to get any glitter on it either except for down here at the very bottom. So I'll tape that up now. I start down here at the bottom where I want the paint to go and I do like a long thing of tape. And I wrap it around until I don't have any more tape left. This part you gotta be careful because you don't want the tape to kind of stick to itself, so it's kind of a pain. But once you get the hang of it, it's relatively simple. It doesn't have to be perfect except for at the bottom, and you just want to make sure that there aren't any areas there that are showing. more tape and then we'll be done with taping now that I've spent eight minutes taping okay my mug is now completely taped except for right here you want to make sure you don't leave any gaps like that I'll explain why shortly. 